Folks, welcome to the ultimate battle of the thermal imaging system cameras. Now over here, I got the Fluke TIS 20 plus, and over here, I got the Thermal Master Thor 001. Now you might be thinking there's no way in the world that anything will ever be a Fluke, but stay tuned because you might be blown away once I show you all the features of the Thermal Master Thor 001, and you can decide for yourself which one is the clear winner. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna show you the contents of the Thermal Master and as well as the flute. So let's start with the Thermal Master. Inside the Thermal Master, nice padded hard case here. You got your warranty card, your quick start guide, and your calibration certificate. Inside, we do have our Thor 001 thermal imaging camera itself. The charging cord, it's USB-C to USB-A. And then we do have a macro lens, which I'll show you how that works here in a minute on the Thor 001. And then next up, we do have the Fluke TIS 20 Plus. Now the TIS 20 Plus does come in a hard case and a soft case. You can remove the soft case if you need to carry that out and not carry around the rugged hard case. Inside, of course, we have our Fluke TIS 20 Plus itself. We have two additional batteries, which is kind of nice. They do come with charging meters right there so you can see where they're at. The charging cable itself. It does have a link cable and the software wireless card. Okay, and as you can see, they're roughly the same size, same build. Of course, Fluke is known to be rugged. They both do have the IP54 rating. They are both rated for about two meters, around six feet-ish drop rating. The uh, IP54 is dust and water resistant. Don't go submerging them in water, but if they get a little wet on the job site, they should both be fine. If they take a short fall, they'll both be fine. The feel of them, the Fluke is a little bit heavier than the Thermal Master 001. That's probably because the internal battery that you can remove from the Fluke, but they're roughly about the same size and same feel. Now, as mentioned, the Fluke does have the removable battery that you can swap out, which is pretty handy. The Thermal Master doesn't have the removable battery, but it does tout a 10 and a half hour use time, which I have not fully tested the 10 and a half hours, but it does stay charged for a pretty long time so I do believe it. The Fluke has roughly about a four to five hour use time but with the removable batteries you should be fine there. Now both meters do have a protective cover over the memory card and the USB-C charging slash data port on the Thermal 001. With the Fluke it does have your data transfer connection right there. It does have your memory card slot and then your charging connector port right there. Now flipping it around they both have your trigger. Now these trigger poles are going to be for recording. The Thor 001 does have video recording where the Fluke does not. So that's a big, big bonus for the Thor. And I'm gonna show you all these features here in a minute. The Fluke has a protective cover over the lenses right there. It is a hard cover that snaps. It's pretty tough. I like that. The Thor does have a switch right there, which you can see does open and close the shutter. So that's pretty handy. It's really quick and doesn't flap and get it out of your way. So I really do like that. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you with a bunch of stats that you're never gonna remember, but as I read through these, you're gonna realize that the Thor 001 outperforms the much, much more expensive Fluke in just about every category. I was actually blown away with the quality and I will show you the difference in thermal imaging here in a minute, but I'm gonna quickly go through the stats real quick. The IR sensor for the Fluke is a 120 by 90, which is about 10,800 megapixels. The Thor 001, 256 by 192, and that's actually upgraded to super resolution 512, 384. So much, much crisper, clearer imaging resolution. The thermal sensitivity on the Fluke is a less than or equal to 60 MKs, where the Thor 001 is a 35 to 40 MK, which is way, way better on the thermal sensitivity. And the thermal frame rate on the Fluke refreshes about nine hertz, where the Thor 001 is at 25 hertz. So that outperforms in that aspect as well. And the display on both are three and a half inch uh, LCD displays, but the Fluke is a 320 by 240, where the Thor 001 is the 640 by 480 IPS at a 60 hertz refresh rate. So this is much more 
clear and you'll see that here in a minute. The field of view on the Fluke is a 50 by 38 degrees where the Thormaster is a 40 by 30. So very similar there. And the eye field of view spatial resolution on the Fluke is a 6 point or 7.6 MRAD where the Thor 001 is a 2.79. Smaller equals the finer detail so that outperforms in that category as well. Temperature range on these cameras is the Fluke is a negative 20 to 150 Celsius where the Thor 001 is a negative 20 to 550 Celsius. So that will actually go up to about 1022 degrees Fahrenheit, much, much hotter than the Fluke itself. For the accuracy, this is an important one. The Fluke is a plus or minus two Celsius or plus or minus about 2%. Now the Thor 001 is a plus or minus 1.5 Celsius or about a 1.5%. So the Thor is actually a bit more accurate than the much, much more expensive Fluke. Keep that in mind. Now, both cameras do have IR fusion, which is infrared on top of a regular visual image. So I'll show you that here in a minute. Now, both cameras do have wireless connectivity. The Fluke does have the Fluke Connect, which which does allow you to take pictures of barcodes on the equipment, and then the software will itself line up your thermal images with that piece of equipment. Now, the Thermal Master Thor 001 also has Wi-Fi connectivity. You can actually view this on a larger screen through the Wi-Fi. You do need to download the mobile app or the PC software. Unfortunately, no Mac software, so I can't demonstrate that. Now, the Fluke does not take video. It does capture still images, of course. The Thor 001 does take video, which is really cool. And you can put voice notes on top of the video after the fact. So you don't have to remember what you're shooting or you can take notes right there. It'll embed it right onto your video, which is really, really handy when you're going back, maybe even months or years later, looking at some of these thermal videos that you've taken and trying to remember what the heck you were actually taking a video of. Now the Fluke does have a four gigabyte internal storage and it does have an optional micro SD. The Thermal Master here has the micro SD card with enough space that it will capture thousands of pictures, hundreds of videos, plenty of room, and you can obviously delete and overwrite and you'll have enough space to do your projects. Now for tripod setup, the Fluke, you will need to buy an adapter to set that up on a tripod. With the Thor 001, it does have the port right there. You can screw this directly into a tripod, which that's pretty handy. It does have a hard point for a strap right there, as you can see. Okay, first up, I have a breadboard project here getting powered up and we're gonna just look at some of the finer details details with both thermal imaging cameras. Okay, first up is the Fluke. Now it's a little hard to give you a great visual through the camera here, but you can see right about there that it is picking up some heat in the IR fusion mode. I do have the IR fusion on about 85% here on the Fluke, and that is gonna be a mix of an actual visual image and the thermal IR on top of it. Okay, now look at the Thermal Master Thor 001. Folks, look at the difference in that clarity. It is exceptionally clear. You can see exactly what you're looking at. You don't have to calibrate it. You don't have to mess with the settings. I simply turned it on and then pointed it at the PCB and breadboard. And as you can see with that thermal imaging on top of the visual image, so that's the IR fusion, it is just exceptional. Now let's try it in a couple of different modes here. Let's see. Here's the straight up IR mode. As you can see, still very, very clear. You can see what you're looking at. And I'm gonna throw on the macro lens that this Thor 001 actually comes with. Folks, this is for your close-up stuff. It gives you a macro view when you're looking at tiny components. This is included with the Thor 001. The Fluke does not come with anything like that. So let's see how close we can get. Okay, let's put it back in Fusion. Now folks, this is with that macro lens on the Thor 001. The Fluke does not have it, but look at how much detail. It's kind of hard to really capture through the camera lens, but it is exceptionally detailed with that macro lens on. You can really do some thermal imaging on small PCB components, on your computer, on circuitry, anything you want. It is just outstandingly clear, especially when you're just looking at the Thermal Master through your eyes. But I think you can get the point here through the camera as well. It is amazingly detailed. Now that's something that the Fluke $3,000 model just can't do. Okay, now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to give you the same picture through the Fluke. You can mess with the fusion level here and get a little bit clearer picture on your screen, but it 
as you can see, it's really hard to see. I can't give you a great example with the Fluke here because it is just constantly calibrating at that level. You can see some detail, but it is nowhere near the Thor 001. Now it just outperforms the Fluke drastically. I'm kind of blown away. Look at that image clarity. And that is super close up on those components. You just can't really get a better picture than that folks when you're looking at circuit board components it outperforms the fluke i'm just i'm kind of blown away now one of the unique features that the thor 001 does have is a laser pointer so if you hold that down it does shoot out a laser which is kind of hard to see through the camera but there is a laser back there you can kind of see it now a useful feature for this that you might not even think of is just seeing how hot your actual water is coming out of your faucets. You don't want to burn anybody. This is a good one for home inspectors. You can actually check and record. Let's record it. And now we're recording the water temperature. We're at about 116, so not too bad, but you can see one of the practical uses of the Thor 001 that you might not even have thought of. And just a little comparison here, as you can see on the Fluke, it does look quite a bit different. You can change your IR fusion there. And let's see if I can get my temperature there. About 118, so it's about the same, about 114 right there. But as you can see, the Fluke is not as user friendly. There's a lot of different settings you need to calibrate. The Thor 001 is a lot more user friendly. It's really a point and shoot kind of thermal imaging camera. Now it does have a lot of different features. You can change your settings as far as your camera modes. You have picture and picture there, which is kind of neat. You have a dual dual spectrum fusion you have your regular visible mode if you just need to take some videos and of course your regular ir which still gives you a little bit of fusion there but i think the most handy is your fusion mode because it does give you a clear image of what you're taking a picture or video of along with the thermal imaging of the hot and cold areas now this does have a flashlight let's see what it looks like with the light off so as you can see it does have a flashlight, which is pretty handy. You hold that flashlight button down, you get your laser pointer. Now I do wanna show you, although the Thor 001 is not touchscreen like the Fluke, you can use the buttons for everything else. Like you can change your fusion level right there down to zero, which is a visible image, all the way up to 100. I like to use it about 80%, but there's 100. So that's 100% thermal over your visual. So many, many settings. I won't go over everything. I'll put a lot of this stuff in the description so you can see all the side-by-side -side comparisons of the features and specifications. You can get pictures of your dog. You can get pictures of your footprints. You can check for door seal leaks or window seal leaks. You can look for mold or cold spots which will equate to water spots. You can even check for insulation in your walls to see if you've got any insulation missing from your walls. Or you can even check for things that you would never think of. This is my bathroom exhaust fan. It is not on so that heat is not coming from a motor. That's actually coming from leakage through the attic into the house through the, th uh, the bathroom fan ducting. So you can really, really use this thing to go around your house. And folks, plumbers love this thermal camera as well. As you can see, this is a kitchen sink with the garbage disposal and you can see the hot water flow. You would be able to see hot water dripping. So you can easily check for any kind of leaks that you might have in any of your plumbing. This will give you a great leak detection without having to use soapy water or checking for bubbles or any of that stuff. Just pick up your Thor 001, turn your hot water on, and you can clearly see where your water flow is going if you have any blockages or leaks. So all in all, folks, they're very similar thermal imaging camera systems. Price-wise, the Fluke, of course, is going to be much, much more expensive at three to four grand, where the Thermal Master Thor 001 is gonna run you about $599. Now, there are some discounts, and I'll throw a coupon into the description, so check that out for sure. Folks, really for a budget thermal camera, 
which is not really even in the budget category anymore because this thing is a powerhouse. It outperforms the $3,000 Fluke in so many different categories that it's really hard not to go with the Thor 001 unless you're just set on buying a Fluke, which I know that there are people out there who are set on their brands and that's fine. But if you're into the more features, much, much more budget friendly, then the Thor 001 is probably going to be your best bet. It's just packed with features and at that price you really can't beat it. I mean even if you drop this thing from 12 feet and it breaks somehow you still have room to buy another one and you're not even to a quarter of the price of the Fluke. Friends hopefully now you can decide which thermal imaging system camera might be best suited for your needs and your budget. And if you enjoyed this video on the thermal imaging battle watch this one right here. I think you're gonna love it. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel right here. It does something to the algorithm. I don't know what, but it helps it push the video out and help so many more people. I thank you and I'll see you on the next one.